So thank you everyone and welcome again in, in this awesome, awesome event. And just a little bit story behind, uh, me and Mark and Jonathan, we met uh, in Tokyo, you know, last fall. And we just, you know, met for the first time and that's usual uh, greetings like, uh, how are you, where you are from, and then just say, from Prague, from Prague, right? You know, we have something like OpenStack Days tour during, through, through the Prague, through the Europe. It will be really nice if we can have something in Prague. Are you able to somehow find a way how to do it, right? And so why not? So today we are here just because one we think in Tokyo. <laughs> I think it's a very, very good backstory. Awesome to be here. Yeah, that, that's how OpenStack works. You know, you're in one country and next thing you know you're on another continent and having an amazing OpenStack day. Today we have a uh, different kind of presentation, right? This is the keynote, first speak speech of the conference. So this will not be too much technical because you know after me there are guys which deploys, uh, operates, I uh, know uh, amazingly fast are able to create OpenStack and other applications. So my goal here is to deliver a little bit different point of view to OpenStack. Uh, the OpenStack as a community, as a code, and as a piece of art, right? Because right here in the contemporary gallery, art of con contemporary gallery, gallery of contemporary art, right? <laughs> uh, I think that uh, OpenStack itself is also really something uh, bigger than just code. You know, and that's because of community and, and users and developers and everyone. So, uh, I'll let a little bit uh, Mark Collier talk about community because he's, uh, I think, the guy he's really you known from beginning with OpenStack, knows everybody about everything about community, travel now through the, through the planet just to talk about how OpenStack is great. Yeah, th thank you so much. Um, it, it's just really awesome to be able to, to come here and, you know, this community uh, means so much to us. The, the OpenStack community is incredibly global. We have tens of thousands of members of uh, almost every country in the world, and that's really what makes OpenStack work. And uh, it, it's so important to us at the foundation, we actually brought our entire staff here today. So every, every employee of the OpenStack Foundation is here. I encourage you to try to get to meet the team if you have a chance. You know, we're here to help and, and learn more about what you want to get out of OpenStack. Um, you know, in terms of how the community's grown and how things are starting to change, you know, one of the biggest things we're seeing is how people are moving from just considering and planning and architecting clouds to really running in production. So the, the largest automaker in the world runs OpenStack now. We've got the largest uh, power company in China, the largest mobile phone companies. So it's really running in production at massive scale. And what that means is there's a new opportunity for us to think about how to run applications on these big clouds. You know, we're finally at a place where we have this global platform, dozens of public clouds, thousands of private clouds. And people want to start thinking about applications, you know, and one of the things that they're doing is combining OpenStack with other technologies. So things like Kubernetes and, and Cloud Foundry and other application-specific kind of frameworks, we're really starting to see something like a LAMP stack of cloud emerge. And that's really exciting. It's an exciting time. You know, some of the folks here at TCB Cloud are uh, doing some of the most innovative work on that. We'll be seeing some really cool applications um, in just a little bit, just to kind of show that off. But I think that's one of the biggest trends we're seeing. We're starting to do application hackathons. So uh, David Flanders here in the front row is, is our foundation guy uh, focused on, on app hackathons. So it's, it's a really exciting time now that OpenStack's maturing to see what you can really do with it in terms of creating value on top. And lastly, I just want to mention that um, one of the biggest challenges we have is trying to help uh, create a larger and larger group of experts that understand OpenStack, understand how to operate it, how to build apps for it. So the App Hackathon is one piece of that. Uh, another is a certified OpenStack administrator we just launched at the Austin Summit a couple months ago. And so I encourage all of you to, to look, look into the Certified OpenStack Administrator Program. We're expecting to have thousands of people um, take those exams um, just, just this year, and it's only going to ramp up from there. So that really helps kind of bridge that talent gap. So these are some of the, the things we're working on at the Foundation, and love for, for all of you to get involved. Yeah, great, great Mark. Thank you very much. And now it's time for our pride. 
this is it, you know, this is the, <laughs> I'm the Pokemon stick. You know, it's something what, you know, usually people, if they look at the Open stack, first they want to see its complexity, you know, many tools, many different projects. I think it's beautiful, Adam. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I agree. No, but first, 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 you know, like, if you are first and you see something like that, first open stack, you know, first point of view, and you start thinking about, usually you're solving some issues in your, in your, in your tech inside, right? So, for example, you are not able to be agile enough, you know, to do new products, to, you know, even design right now, you know, the, the IT, all IT market is in transition. You know, to design new, new IT for the next five years is something you need to, uh, you need to tackle. And if, if you look at this, it, you can be a little bit, you know, confused. But don't be confused. It, this is something which is already solved. And today you will see many companies, many experts talking about how easy is a uh, demo or something like that and how, how easy it is to operate. Only thing you need to figure out is about your use case. What do you want to, you know, run? What do you want to do with, with OpenStack? OpenStack is, there's everything. You know, basically, if you want virtual machines, you want containers, you want application catalogs, you want SDN, software-defined storages, or you want to adopt your physical bare metal data center, you are able to. It's just about your vision, what do you want to do, what do you want to run, how you want to run it, and that's important. As a user, only thing you need to figure out is your vision and how and when you want to start. You know, the goal of this conference today, our OpenStack Day, is to you know open your eyes and mind about what you are able to do. Now today, if you start working with OpenStack or any other traditional technologies besides OpenStack, usually you need one year to adapt, right? You need another year to design, and these two years, everybody else are in front of you. With OpenStack, with all these deployments tools, with everything which is under the big tent of OpenStack, which is because it's not just tools uh, for you know API layers, it's just something above. And all the lumps that you're talking about, Kubernetes, you know, all Open Contrail, for example, all these tools around make your environment uh, make an environment for you, which is you are able to do whatever you want, and that's something uh, what we want to you know present to you. You know that's that's uh, main goal of my keynote here. That's everything. It's open for you because only thing you need to is just download, download, test, look at the presentation, and think about it. What do you want to achieve in the next six months? That's that's only thing important. Now about this, how this is working, what's RBC you need to link, which kind of message, you know, queue you need, it's already done. Because OpenStack is five years or more with us already, and three or four, four years of production in some huge companies, yes. and that's everything solved. It's just, it's just right now, forget this and start talking about your use cases. You can make your own art once you can rely on something like this to actually help you process, store, and move data. Every app needs those fundamental capabilities. We finally got a, a really solid foundation upon which people can, can express themselves and, and create their own art through applications. So it's pretty exciting to, to be able to see the original vision of OpenStack really come into fruition all over the world. Yeah, great. And you know, just help you a little bit, I want to show you one use case which is not too common. Right? It's a use case, we bring piece of a uh, piece of Austin Summit, you know, OpenStack Summit in Austin, which is last month. And yeah, we had uh, 7,800 people register for the, the last OpenStack Summit. You know, and for those who aren't familiar, we have summits twice a year to bring people together from all over the world, 60 plus countries attend. You know, of course, uh, Adam's there and uh, your whole team, and they did an incredible demo, so they're going to reprise it here uh, in Prague for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so we just bring you a small piece of demo and a little bit different kind of, kind of use case. You now, if you talk about cloud, usually you're talking about, you're talking about virtual machines. You know? and that's not that, that this is not a use case. Run virtual machine is not a use case. Use case is, for example, let's measure some data, let's process them, right? So we prepare an openstackday.tcpcloud.eu, and it's open for everyone. They can go and see, for example, how many CO2 we uh, producing right now in this room. 
So we just cover three rooms. We you know uh, running the show here. This room, the another room with, with boots, and uh, another room where uh, uh, evening session will be. So how are you able to measure that? How you, uh, <laughs> that's a very good question. It's it's because of OpenStack and because the environment around OpenStack. Now that's that's important. APIs, uh, SDN, right? Software-defined storages. Uh, we're using OpenStack Salt to deploy everything. One click. Just one guy was able to do this. He. It's true that he spent like three hours here yesterday, but he did it alone. You know, from end to end. So from virtual machine, from spinning virtual machine to place sensor on the walls, uh, to wire up. It's so a, you put it's sensors a, in, the, in the rooms here. Yeah, it's wireless wireless mesh network. You know? Wow, wireless mesh network. <laughs> It does, it does guy that, that, that was him. Awesome. Uh, 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 so this is also, which is important. This is not just, uh, this is not just some visualization. You know, it's end-to-end -end, uh, process of some data. You know, from beginning when the data, you you get the data, and when information you you took from the data, that's important. Visualizing and everything, that's important. But also, which is important that all the data are available for you through REST API and are able to do whatever you want, automate through other application, share the information, and then generate even more interesting information on top of this. And from last conference, we just adding uh, a little bit more data so you can correlate, for example, with the traffic in our wireless network today. So it's in, even this data is available. So from you are able from different sources, get a different kind of data, and generate information which is valuable for you. And I believe the sensors are actually Raspberry Pis, is that right? Are they yeah, that's that, part, that, of the, yeah. part of the kit? Yeah, that, that's funny, that's, we're using just Raspberry Pi. And funny is, at the Raspberry Pi there is Kubernetes, so if you know something about Kubernetes, Docker containers, you run Docker containers uh, in, Kuber in uh, Raspberry Pi with Kubernetes, and even with the SDN, which is <coughs> seamlessly connected to, with OpenStack. And it's orchestrated through, through OpenStack and through OpenStack Salt uh, project. And Amazing. by the way, you can see you can see uh, on the small plate, it's like raspberry, it's like dessert, just uh, just in the boot boot section, in, right next please to the coffee. Please don't eat the raspberry pie. Yeah, don't eat it, please. That is fork already, but don't eat it, please. So, Mark, do you have something uh, something else to do? See, uh, no, describe. So something you know, heat them up a little bit in the morning. Warm them up, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and that's we also talk about your story about in Prague. Bit why you are so interested in Prague? I know I remember in Tokyo. Oh right, right, right. Yes, I, I just think the people here are amazing. Is that the story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, think. really amazing. Yeah. yeah. And so by the way, one of the things that Mark you know, mentioned is that the Prague it's a really good place to meet everyone else and from OpenStack Foundation and stuff yeah. because it's. Everyone from Bragg have just right memories, right? Yeah, well, but, yeah. It's, a, it's an incredible place. This is my second trip. It was 15 years ago the last time I came, and a long time before OpenStack. So when we started talking about where, where we need to go with another OpenStack day, it was, it was an easy choice in my mind. Yeah. So please take a look to this uh, today presentation about use cases, how to deploy, and how easy it's able to tackle, how many experts are in this room, and how many experts from all kind of countries, all, no, from all around the world, just take this experience. And by the way, I invite you uh, to a networking party in the end, where the, where the beers, wines, and some desserts will be, and some small food for you. And we just, we just prepare a few hours to connect each other. So all OpenStack stuff, Experts from different countries, all the planet, for OpenStack will be here, and you are able to uh, connect, networking, and share experience. And that's 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 the mission of OpenStack Day today. So thank you very much, and thank you. And if I ask Alcia to uh, introduce another, another speaker.